you guys, Aaron here. Time opening up the color spectrum draw. 3,000 card points. Not sure. I think that's probably like five or six pulls. So whatever I get is what I get. Hopefully I get the new KN44 or at least a new skin. Um, with this lucky draw though, we actually got the regular KN44 for free through a challenge, which is super nice. You can see there, it's up for 11 days, 16 hours. You have to do a lot of challenges here. You have to do 30 team deathmatch matches, 30 domination matches, 30... Um, 30 frontline matches, play matches with friends, use a sparrow, occupy the point 15 times in domination. There's a lot of stuff you got to do. You need to do 70 points worth of stuff. Uh, if you do 100 points, you get this new profit skin. But the Kane 44 is obviously the main thing people want. So, obviously, if I don't get the new the color spectrum in Kane 44, I still have that to go. To grind for so I figured you know what Activision Tencent they're doing something good here they're offering the gun for free like everyone's wanted for forever now with every single lucky draw that they've done every time there's a new weapon people always complain that the gun should be offered for free with no skin or something they're finally doing it so I figured I show support for this because I really appreciate it show them a few dollars like what 35 Canadian dollars or something like that Figured we'll go for the color spectrum cane 44, see what I get. So we have this cool skin, it's pretty cool, it's got that rainbow camo on it. We have the Sentinel Recon skin. Kind of weird for a color spectrum draw, I expected the skin to be a lot more colorful, but he's just like plain black and like gray. But still looks pretty cool. We have the color spectrum backpack, which is pretty cool, it's animated also. We have the robot dance. Pretty cool, I guess. Color Spectrum Grenade, it's animated. Then we have these skins here. Nothing too crazy. Like, they're all decent skins. Odds for this, pretty trash, honestly. 0 0.08 for the first play. I think it was for the HBR. When that when there was a lucky draw for that. They had the odds for the HBR slightly higher. I think it was a 1.25% chance. So they flipped the percentage of the character skin and the new weapon for the HBR. But now that they've gone back to what they've been doing, where the weapon is the lowest odds. Which sucks. But hopefully I can get lucky. I don't know. We'll see. I should get at least five plays. So let's look at the odds for the fifth play. Where is it at? Okay, the seventh play is 0.5% chance. So it's still garbage. There it is. 0.26%. So, yeah, the odds are pretty trash for this. 40 CP for the first pull. I'm not going to bother looking how it increases. Probably going to keep doubling or something like that. Let's just go for the first pull. If I get in the first pull, I'm going to celebrate. It's been such a long time since I've done one of these. We got the robot dance first. That's not bad. But it's been such a long time since I've done a lucky It went from 40 to 120. What the hell? Three times more? Is that right? Okay, now I need to look at how the how the CP cost increases. Let's see. Three times the previous cost? Damn. Then it goes to 1.6. Okay, that's kind of weird. I don't know why it does it like that. Okay, next pull. Come on, just give me the skin. I've been grinding off front line and I've already seen one person that has the skin. Nobody's gotten the free the free version of it yet, I don't I haven't seen. But I've seen one person out of like the whatever 16, 17 matches I played has the actual color spectrum skin. I've seen a couple of people with the backpack though, the color spectrum backpack, so I feel like I have a good chance of getting that at least. So far, all rare items. Not looking good so far. I feel like the CP cost isn't too too high yet. But I don't know. Dude, CP costs so much, like it's way too expensive. They need to change their prices or something. Or like give us the ability to convert our credits into CP somehow or something. I don't know. 
I think this is, this, this is the last pull I have. This might be the last, this is the last pull. We've gotten all rare items only. Okay, there we go. We got at least something. The color spectrum, sticky grenade. Okay, it's at 1200 now. Four, okay, I got six pulls out of this for just the 3000 card points. Card points are just way too expensive, honestly. Okay, I'm not doing any more pulls for this. If <laughs> Honestly, I kind of want to, but like, it's not worth the money. Especially since the KN44 is offered for free. But I guess I'll show you guys gameplay of the regular KN44 just show you guys how it is. I mean, what does this one even do? I didn't even check. Extra ammo when killing enemies at close range. It's not bad. Each kill shoots a rainbow through the bodies of your enemies. There's no leprechaun at the end of this one. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, we'll see how good the gun is. It, the gun's probably, it looks like a pretty balanced out gun. Accuracy, damage wise, range. You can fire it. Maybe it's good, I don't know. But I'm gonna try out, I'm gonna, I'm about to grind the next, I don't even know how long, how many hours this is gonna take. But I'm about to grind. I'm at 18 frontline matches. I've only played two team deathmatch matches. I've completed the 10 frontline matches and the kill 10 enemies with hunter killer drone and frontline matches. But I'll be back once I have this KN44. All right, so I finally unlocked the KN44. Took a decent amount of time. Basically just grinded out team deathmatch and frontline. Um, for team deathmatch, keep playing the cages map over and over again. Frontline, keep playing kill house, the two smallest maps in each game mode. I know it gets kind of boring playing the same map over and over again for 30 matches straight, but it is the fastest way to unlock the gun. Overall, I think the gun is pretty good though. Um, it's basically very comparable to an ASM-10, like stat-wise it's pretty similar. But I do think the KN-44 is a little bit better. Higher fire rate, and a little bit less recoil. At least that's what it feels like to me. So yeah, I think the gun's pretty good. Definitely more of a mid-range to closer range gun. Longer range is not the greatest gun in the world, but not completely terrible. But yeah, it's pretty... Decent gun, definitely one of the better assault rifles in the game, so I'm glad they made it free for everyone, or at least earnable or grindable for everyone, if you don't want to buy the lucky draw. It does feel kind of weird though using a plain gun with no, absolutely no weapon skin on it. Feels like the first days of playing Cloud Mobile. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below though, of the KN44 if you've already unlocked it, if you did pulls for the lucky draw. What did you guys get? Um, if you did all 10 pulls, did, did you get the KN44 in the last poll, or did you get it before then? Let me know in the comments below though what you guys got. Thanks for watching. Peace. Reloading, cover me. 